Lab Medicine welcome you all once again. In this video we are going to discuss about one of the most sensitive diagnostic tests called NT-Pro-BNP test. This special test has been highly preferred by the cardiologist to rule out congestive heart failure. Let's commence with the definition. It's a peptide actually composed of 76 amino acids which is cleaved from 134 amino acids peptide named Pre-Pro-BNP. BNP is a hormone that regulates the blood volume. This N-terminal pro-brain natriuretic peptide gets released from the cardiac myocytes of left ventricle when it experienced difficulty in supplying the blood to rest of the body parts. It has become one of the most innovative cardiac marker in assessment of ventricular dysfunction. You may need a BNP test or an NT problem P test if you have symptoms like shortness of breath, fatigue, chest pain, abnormal vitals, and having a heart condition like when your heart doesn't get adequate oxygen supply or suddenly reduces the flow of blood to the heart like unstable angina. NT Pro BNP is produced when the pressure inside your heart's chambers increases due to heart failure. This peptide is heavily released by the heart when it pumps blood poorly and works harder. Your circulation will be enhanced by BNP's dilating of your blood vessels. Higher values could therefore indicate cardiac failure. And here comes the diagnostic assessment which we do in the laboratory. We laboratory professionals determine the quantitative unit of this peptide for prognostication as well as for monitoring the treatment of cardiac patients. The results should be reported as early as possible to the consultant clinicians for better care and diagnosis. In a laboratory, we perform this test by fluorescence immunoassay method from SD Biosensor Analyzer, just like we test for procalcitonin, which you can see in my previous video. Clinical professionals may govern out the following with the aid of quantitative NT Pro BNP measurement, early diagnosis of acute heart failure, risk stratification of heart failure, useful tool for guiding the referral case of chronic heart failure. NT Problem P helps monitor disease progression and triage patients who may need further investigations like echocardiography. Treatment options can be chosen using NT Problem P as a reliable biomarker for determining the degree of heart failure. Standard FIA analyzer can measure this protein from 50 to 25,000 picogram per milliliters, which means the linearity is 25,000. If the patient is normal, then it shows less than 50. It will take 15 minutes to give the results if we use serum or plasma, while if we use whole blood it will take 20 minutes. Now comes the main part that is result interpretation. In an emergency, individuals with acute dyspnea and suspected acute heart failure can be triaged using nt pro -BNP. In primary care, monitoring patients with chronic heart failure is beneficial because it rules out suspected left ventricular dysfunction. If the level is less than 125 and 450 for less than 75 and greater than or equal to 75 years patients, then the heart failure is rare. But there is a, a possibility of left ventricular dysfunction when the level is greater than or equal to 125 and 450 in patients with less than 75 years and greater than or equals to 75 years.